Hello guys, Joseph here once more from Joe Concepts. How is everything with you guys? All right, in the previous video, I talked about rigging up a bird and just giving it one controller to flap both wings. So in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you um, how to add the secondary animation to this. So I want you to just look at what I have here. So if I play this through, you notice what is happening. I don't know if you can see some things happening here at the feather end and also at the tail. You see a little bit of movement. So this is what we want to see and add to this uh, animation. Okay, so that is pretty much what we're gonna do here. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this. Let's just, let's just quickly get to this. So what I have right here is I already animated the bird with the controller and also added a camera to that. And I'm gonna talk about the camera in a bit. So we want to add a similar animation to this wing. So how this works is more like you look at the thinnest parts that you know that air can affect. So we just make use of vertex marks to select those parts. So in this case, for this part here, I want this to be kind of hard, more like there is bone here. So we don't really have impacts, more impacts of um, the wind on this. We just want to add it to the part we want the wind to affect. So the first thing we're going to do, okay, let me just delete what I added to this so we can start from scratch. So I'm going to delete this and also the vertex map which I created. So I'll delete everything. So we're back to this. If I'm to play this, you notice there is no movement here. So it just looks so dry and nothing special. It looks very stiff. So let's try and set us. So I'll start by selecting the wind, go to any of the subcomponents, sorry, selecting the bed, go to any of the subcomponents, then hit V, go to select, click on vertex map, make sure it is set to zero. Everything turns red. And for a moment, I'm going to hide this. I'm going to close the subdivision so I can know what I'm selecting. So once I have this bed and this, I need to now start painting the parts where I want to have the impact. So I'll double click on this new tag that was created for us by clicking on the select. If I double click on it, it's going to give me this paint tool. So for the paint tool, make sure you are set to absolute and vertex opacity to be 100 to start with. So you can start painting over the part where you want. So I want to paint just a rough paint over this part. So I want the impact of the wind to affect this. So you might need to go down to be sure that you have that part also painted. So I'm just going to quickly paint this and also the tail, a little bit of it. Move to the down part, paint. You don't need to hold down shift because you are in absolute mode. It automatically adds itself to it. So just paint here and here. Okay, so you have this paint. You might need to come here to an angle and paint and be sure that all oh, these are painted because they are actually overlapping, so it's not seen through that. Do same to this. Okay. So maybe I might even want to have a little bit of um, impact along this. So what I'll do is I'll bring this very low, just very minute impact here, just more. So we notice that I didn't add this to my own animation. So we're just looking at that now, possibly 40, okay. So how this works is that once you have this painted, I'm going to come back here. I just want to quickly show you stuff. So once you come, once you have this guy painted, 
then what you need to do is bring up a deformer that is what we're going to use to drive that second animation and the name of the deformer is jiggle deformer so we come to the jiggle deformer the way you use it is either you make it a child of the geometry you want to affect or you put it in the same hierarchy both on the same parent so i already created a null object so since they are both in the same family with this so it still works so if you look at this now if you go to the jiggle under your restriction because if we don't do that it's going to affect everything as a whole if i do this it affects the whole object and we don't want that we want it to be restricted to that um, part so what we'll do is go under restriction drag this over to this place and then if we look you see the effect you get to have and you can notice what is happening to this part here there is a very sharp transition here and that is wrong we need to so if we add a subdivision surface to it to see the transition is very sharp so let's just wait for it see we don't want this sharp transition and that's the reason why i said i was going to come back to that part so if i double click here we don't want this sharp stuff we need to smoothen this around it so what we'll do is change the mode from absolute to smooth and bring the smooth to we can start from 40 just click on apply all a couple of time and that should apply so select the bird and this So smooth, apply, apply, you can see what's happening. So you start applying and smoothens everything. So the transition will be a lot smoother as compared to what we had before. So if we come here and check this, we should have a smoother. Okay, so you see. Okay. So that's pretty much what you need to do. You need to smoothen this guy by just hitting the smooth a couple of times and that will smoothen the whole thing. So once you're done with that, you can see this. Once you're done with that, the next thing you want to do is to now start um, fine-tuning this um, Deformer. So if we select this and we come to the deformer, we come to the jiggle deformer under the object tab. Now we have the stiffness and the structure to work with. So if you look at this, we this looks so. So what we can do also is we can increase this stiffness a little bit and so it becomes a little bit stiffer and doesn't just go too much so you can see so if you feel that this is too stiff you can just bring this down you see there is a little bit of movement okay you can see this part you see this part moving so as soon as it ends so if you feel it's still stiff you can just bring this down a little bit and see what you have if you like, I see it moving up, down gradually. So that's, you need to be uh, subtle with this. You don't need to go overboard. And, but because we are going to add another stuff to bring the backward movement. And just like as if it's in the air, you know, as you are moving against the air, the impact of the air will start bringing the feathers backwards and moving it. So that's what we want to try and do here. So for us to do that, we are going to create a force. We're going to make use of um, a wind force. We make sure the force is, the wind is blowing it backwards. You can see this arrow, that's what we want. And also, so if I play this, nothing will have any effects because we need to apply this wind to that jiggle deformer. So if we go to the jiggle deformer under force, you want to bring the wind there. So if we look at this now, you can see it start moving backwards. You notice before it start flapping the wing. As I play, let me just go back. As I play, see what happens to these feathers here. They come back. All right, so what I want to do now is I want to 
add a little bit of noise to this movement. I just don't, I don't want it to just come. I want it to come and start moving a little bit. So what we'll do is go to the wing. We need to add a little bit of turbulence to it. So if we add turbulence to this, and let's see what we have. See, it moves, but we need to still add some more things to them. So we need to add frequency of the turbulence. So frequency is more like the period that you're going to have for the turbulence. So if you click here, see that it's actually moving. But the reason why you're not seeing this more is because of the scale. The scale is a lot very large. So at 1000, so it's more like the noise is 1000. So it's too large. So what we'll do is bring this scale down somewhere here and play. And you can start seeing this effect. You see this somewhere here. So we could also bring the scale down, add more turbulence, and maybe frequency. So you see what we're having here. So this is beginning to have a little bit of life to it. So instead of the stiffness, you are seeing this moving. So you could just play with this. Uh, maybe you want to add more speed. So let's try it and so it goes more. So you can start seeing this. So let's see the part here. So you can see the movement along it. So, so this is very interesting. So, so that's pretty much how to do that. And now what I now added was to create a camera. And the camera added a so uh, okay no notice what you have here you need to bake this because at this point you cannot play back if you try to do this you have this issue have this issue so what you do is you go to the jiggle deformer go to the cache and just calculate the cache so it's going to run through calculating the cache and the purpose for this cache is so that you can scroll your timeline forward and backwards it doesn't um tamper with the geometry and you see a lot cleaner feedback of your animation. So let's just wait for this to play through. And I'll talk about the camera and why you need to add the camera to bring the realism into this. Okay. All right, so let me just, okay, it's almost done. So now if you look at this, this is fine, but then um, you need to sell the idea that this guy is in the air. And as the camera is moving, you add more life to it with the camera um, that you add to this scene. So what I'm going to show, so now we have this. So if I scroll this up and back, we don't have this issue. Everything is fine. So if you look at this now, I play. You see what's happening? This still doesn't look um, interesting enough even though the geometry is now interesting but the camera is too still so that's where this camera comes so if you look at the camera i added a tag to this and just what i just did was just add a vibrate tag and activate the position just added value no matter of value so this value might not work for you just try values and look at the one that gives you just the right um, animation you're looking for then added the frequency that's just said everything i did so if you play through now you notice what's happening you know, so let me just hide this wind and this chick of form you notice the way the camera is moving so it seems more like Okay, this is in the air and the camera is trying to pick and the bed is moving, flying forward and backward. So I'm trying to create that illusion that it's the bed, whereas it's the camera that's moving and this adds more to this. All right. So that's just what I wanted to show you guys today, how you can use your Jigu deformer and with your vertex marks, uh, vertex mark rather, sorry, and your force. <laughs> vertex marks. So how you can use your jiggle deformer with your vertex map and your wind force to add more real, realistic effects to this and also secondary movement to your animation. So um, if you feel this was helpful, please do give me a like and a thumbs up because it helps me in 
the YouTube algorithm. You could also share the video because you don't know who might need this. And also, if you are new to my channel, please do subscribe because I do tutorials like this every time. Try to bring um, the simplest way to create a supposedly complex animation. So without just do have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.